today I'm doing something that I'm so excited to do. I am doing a graveyard girl smoke clean review and makeup tutorial and all that good stuff with me. I'm so excited. Everybody's been talking about this palette and packaging. It's adorable and yeah. So I'm gonna do a video for you on this. So if you want to see a completed makeup tutorial, keep watching. Okay, so first I'm just going to show you the inside of the palette. It's not been completely used yet. You get a full mirror. The palette itself comes with nine eyeshadows, a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. The thing that people have been talking about the most from this palette is the highlight, which I'm just going to swatch it on my hand. See it right behind me. It's super reflective and it's really pretty. I'm just going to go over the names real quick. That highlighter was called Gator Wings. The blush is called Does This Thing Really Work? And then bronzer is called Sweet Tea. And then I'm just going to go over. The first one is Swamp Family Strong. Then Natural Peaches. Then Dog Man. Then Big Baby. Then Sassy Bun. Sippy Sippy. Haunting. Uncommon. And Man Cat. All the names. They are so her and yeah. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to prime my face using the CoverGirl True Magic. I do not know if they still sell this in the store, but this is what I use. It is like a gel pen, but when you apply it to your face, it turns into a powder. I believe Make It Forever had something similar to this. So this can be considered a dupe for the Makeup Forever one. Okay, now that I've applied that all over my face, I'm going to go in with another CoverGirl product. This is the CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Hair Smoothing Foundation and Applicator. This is a little too light for me right now. I need to go buy another foundation that is my summer color. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So I'm just going to take this and just like apply it in stroking amounts on my face. Okay, now that I'm looking crazy, I'm going to take an e.l.f. small stipple brush and just blend that all in. Using the circular motions and also dragging it downward. This will also help with the hair smoothing formula that it promises. Also apply some down your neck for a good transition and some on your ear a little bit as well. Now I am just going to take my Fit Me concealer, this is in the shade Fair. I'm going to put that in a triangle motion down my eyes. And I'm going to put that right up against my nose. Now I'm just going to put some down bridge my nose, like a wax glimmation point, to brighten those little walls, as well as some on my chin for my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to put some on any blemishes. So just to blend out all the concealer again, I'm going to go back in with with my <laughs> e.l.f. small stipple brush and blend it all in so it brightens and creates a smooth transition. Now I'm just going to do it all under my eyes. What I'm doing is I am dragging it down but also patting it in and bringing it over to here. So 
that way it brightens my cheekbone area and my under eye area just the way I want it to. Like so. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back. Now that my brows are looking better, I think it's time to jump into the eyeshadow. So just to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is the original one. I'm going to place that on the center of my eye. And then, like this. To set this primer, I'm going to go into the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to take the shade Big Baby, which is right here. I'm just going to pat that around my eyes to set it. This palette smells so good. I just thought I'd bring that up real quickly. I don't know why it smells like that. It smells amazing. I'm going to go with my a golden touch look to it. So first I am going to go in with natural peaches, which is right here. I'm going to blend that into my crease using the tongue brush. Next I'm actually gonna go in with the bronze color and I'm going to blend that towards more of the outer V of like, ooh, gosh, pretty. So now I'm just going to blend that out more using this Real Techniques Face Shadow Brush. I'm just blending that out and then doing it when you show up like for Next, I'm going to go in with Dog Man, which is right here. It is a orangey shade with a little bit of shimmer in it. And I'm just going to put that in just the V of my eye to deepen my crease even more. Alright, so now I'm just going to go back in with that Real Techniques brush once again and blend it out a bit more. This is what it, that would look like right now. No, turn the light off. Sorry, put it away. Now I think I'm going to go in with this dark shimmery color called the Sippy Sippy. It's right here. It's so pretty. And I think I'm going to put that towards just this corner and a little bit on my lash line. I'm going to be using this brush from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette by the Finer Pan. Now I'm just going back in with that Tarte brush and just kind of like blending slash smudging it along my lash line and up into the V. So it looks like so. Now I'm just going to go in with this Tarte brush again and go into Sassy Fun which is this shade in the second row in the middle. It is such a pretty like golden shade. I'm just gonna put that into the center of my lips. Mm. I love it. And next I am going to take hashtag Swamp Family Strong, which is the first shade in the first row, and put that towards the inner part of my eyelid and into my inner pore. Now I'm going to do the scary part, which is the winged liner. I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Now, put my winged eyeliner. I'm just going to curl my lashes. Just hold it for 
few seconds and like push out a little bit. Oh yeah. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Tarte Ready Set Lashes. That brush looks like it's quite big and the fibers are long, but yet it's not like too big of a blur. I think it's everywhere. Okay, just real quickly, I'm going to go in with a mixture of natural peaches and sweet tea. Just like, you know, one, two, I need to get rid of my jaw. I'm going to put that underneath my lash line on the bottom. And then we're done with the eyes, but we're not done with the palette. <laughs> now I'm going to bronze up my face using the Sweet Tea Bronzer and using a powder brush, which I know everybody's going to disagree with, but on my face personally, I always find that these seem to work best for me, so that's what I'm going to use. Just dipping into it. Whew. Use the tip of my forehead. Same for the rest. Make sure you blend this out really well because you don't want to look muddy. I put a little bit under the jaw as well. Just to and and that's it. Now I'm just going to go in with the blush. Does this thing really work? Now that blush and bronzer are done, I just have to get them to like everybody. And their mama's talking about this insane highlight. It's called Gator Gold. For this, I am going to be using this other Real Techniques brush I have, it's not the same one, but I use this as a highlighter because it reminds me of one of the Morphe brushes, I forgot the name of it, but it reminds me of Morphe brush, so I'm using this to highlight it. And then just doing a little bit because I don't want to look too extreme. Oh, but you still look extreme. Yes, finally. some on the brow bone. This is good stuff we're getting here. Good stuff. Ooh. See, this is highlighted side, black side, highlighted side, black side. And I'm just putting a little bit, putting it on the nose. Now I'm gonna brush it in. Keep the tail. Okay, now that I am alone, I'm just going to go with my liquid lip, which is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. So, it's like a nudish, red-based brown. And I think it would go great with like this kind of orange gold vibe I'm giving it. And this is my completed makeup look. Just gonna get it a little closer. I really like these colors a lot. I love how they reflect against the light. And I think this lip color really goes good with it too. So, hope you guys enjoyed. This was my completed makeup look on the Swamp Queen palette by Graveyard Girl. I highly recommend this palette. Get it while you can. I do know that it'll be in in Sephora's that are within JCPenney's Glide 12. 
I believe they will be hitting like full on Sephora stores July 2nd, I believe. But if I'm wrong, you can go and get it straight from the source. Grave Girl Girl, aka Bunny, here on YouTube, will constantly be posting updates on her YouTube channel and Instagram and Snapchat. And definitely check out her palette. She did an amazing job on it, and I highly recommend it as well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, comment. I love seeing comments. Like, share, you know the drill, and I will see you soon. Bye.